Okay, this is part two of the instructional video for editing IMV avatars through Photoshop. And we are, today we're te teaching you about the pen tool. Okay, where are we? Okay. Okay, in order to get the pen tool, you have to go to here. I'm oh, sorry, like this one. So, yes, yeah, there it is. And we have the hotkey P, just P. For example, you're going to brush, and then you go to the pen tool, just click P. There you are. Simple. Okay. This cursor right here, with the X on it, it just means start point, starting point. Okay. And then we click on that. I found it easier for me instead of going to like this you know, like that and then, and then like that like that like that instead of doing that <clears throat> I found it easier for me to do this instead okay start point let's go over all the major points like this okay and what I'm doing is adding pad points. Just click anywhere. You want to click here? Doesn't matter. And for example, you made a mistake like that. Just click Control Z. Z and Zebra for the hot key for back the history. And then just click right here. Just click it. It means adding the pad point around it like this one. All right. It's perfect. Now, in order to add a point, uh, a pad point, see the cursor? When you move it through the line, the pad line, the cursor changes to a plus sign. That means you can add a point like this. Okay. And it turns into a minus sign because there's already a pad point right there. And when you want to remove it, just click it. See? It's gone. So we're going to add again. And now, in order to move it, you have to first hold down the control before clicking it, okay? Or else you'll be removing it. Oh, just hold the control first. And then when the cursor changes to this kind of arrow, you can move it. Like this. Again, while holding down the control key. Okay, so we're making our selection. See how irregular the shape is? Who has a shoulder like that? If you see a person with shoulders like that, tell me, okay? That's mutation. <laughs> anyway, so to make it look more natural, um, all people have brown shoulders. Like that. And then this one, see the space beneath here. As I said, one of the reasons we're using the pen tool is to make um, tighter selections. So just uh, make a new point right there so that we can pull it down like this. See? And then um, don't be afraid to zoom in, okay? Zoom in. Doesn't matter if you zoom in 300, 400. It doesn't matter as long as you can see what you're doing. Like this. See? Okay. Okay, sorry. Like this. Then click again and then pull down. Just see how nice that curve is? Okay. Okay. Another thing that you should remember is to um, and when you want to make a selection around a curve like this, you you may want to add a point where the, uh, the distance on the curve is at the widest, so that it will be easier to move it like this. And then control again, and then move it like that. See? It's really easier. Instead of, let me go back one, 
let me go back one step to prove a point. <laughs> okay, another, let's remove that one. Instead of like going here and then moving like this, see there's, there are spaces beneath here and here. So again, go to the widest point, make, make the point, and then move it down. Okay. Then move it down like this up. Mm -hmm. And then right here. See? Just. Mm -hmm. Okay. You may want to have your fingers just um, uh, ready to hold down the control <laughs> so that when you click on a point and you hold it down a control key you get easier you will get the hang of it soon I'm telling you and when you do you will love it okay let's see just go over all the points just remember the principle hold down to move the points just click to add a point then hold down control click to add a point hold down to control hold down to control right here okay okay this is what I'm talking about creating um, correcting the shapes see how this this skull <laughs> this head has um, corners around it well granted that some people have corners on their skull but we don't want that here <laughs> okay let's move this up just uh, just right below where you want it there, there you go and then add another point just see how nice that curve is and then add another point nice okay 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 um hold on let me see this one and you see zoom in you had to make sure that the selection is tight okay go up okay uh, you are be wondering how I'm zooming in when I'm not going over the the view and the zoom in zoom out see this um see this hotkey just click control and on your um 10 keypad uh just click plus hot while holding down control this is the hotkey for the zoom in zoom out okay plus minus okay 